Hey, how you doing? It's um, Aaron Snozwell here. I just wanted to show off a quick um, demo of a tool that I started working on this evening. So I was watching this video today, um, it's a talk by Brett Victor, um, and in this video Brett's talking about the way that we think about ideas and how that affects the way that we interact with those ideas. Um, it's a really good talk, really recommend you look at it, um, have a look at it. Brett Victor, Inventing on Principle, you can just search Vimeo for that. Um, but in this video, Brett shows up a tool that he came up with. Um, you can see him using it here. And what he's got, he's got JavaScript code on the right here, and then he's got a canvas on the left. And in real time, as he's editing that code, the canvas is updating to show the changes um, in real time. And I thought that was pretty neat, so I wanted to try and come up with a small sort of tool. It's a little bit like um, Dabbler. Um, if you've seen this, it's a similar sort of thing where you have CSS code down here, and as you edit the CSS, you see the changes up here in real time. Uh, but this is for JavaScript and the canvas. So this is what I came up with. You've got this sort of notepad here, um, notepad looking thing, and you've got code over here. And you can see I can edit this. Uh, this is editable, which is nice. So, hi. Now, what's cool is I can type some code, and if I open up the console, what you can see is that code was actually run. So if I change this now, you can see that running in real time down in the console there. But that's not very cool, so let's try something a bit better. Uh, fill rep 2020. 2020. There we go, let's up the size a bit, and we can also fill style. There you go. So now you'll notice that as I'm typing, if I make a typo, like the syntax error just here, uh, this canvas here doesn't update, so it's listening for errors, and whenever the code is correct, or the code can run without any errors, it will actually update the canvas, which is nice. So, um, you can sort of see, it's a neat little prototyping tool, I guess, because we can do a little bit more complicated stuff. So say, I want to add a for loop. Zero, I less than one thousand plus. Now, let's indent these. And what I'll do... Do that. There we go. Right, there we go. Winning. Now, that's cool. Uh, that updates every time I press a key here. But what if we want to instead say function render like this in a function and then we can call that function instead. Ah, there we go. And even cooler is we can do interactive things. So on mouse down equals Render. So forgive me, it's 4 a.m. here. I'm a little bit excited about this. You can see now we're drawing that on render. Let's down that to. Very nice. Add a clear in here. Nice, and one more change. Let's do this. It's a nice fancy colors. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's a neat little prototyping tool that um, is going to be pretty sweet when it's finished, I think. I'm um, planning to add a lot more features. Good news is this is all going to be open source. I'll chuck it up on GitHub um, sometime soon. So that's what I wanted to show. Um, Brett Victor, Inventing on Principle. Check it out, and follow me on Twitter, Aaron Snodgall. Thanks. Bye.